Uh, we'll check back with Kim coming up here in just a little bit. Well, many crews from right here in East Tennessee helping out Florida residents after Hurricane Michael caused widespread devastation in its wake. One of those crews, Granger County EMS. Now, they are seeing the devastation firsthand. New tonight at 11. WAT 6 on your side reporter Madison Keevy getting a closer look now at the storm's destruction directly from those EMTs. Yes, I mean, it took us almost three to four hours to go about five miles. From Tallahassee, Florida, after an 18-hour day, Jeff Lehman's about to get some sleep. Tomorrow, he's got to be ready for anything. It depends. It can be anywhere from helping a 911 system that's down in the destruction area, or it could just be evacuating a hospital. Lehman is an advanced EMT with Granger County EMS. He's part of a few emergency response teams from Tennessee, including crews from Knox and Blunt counties, all in Florida to help in the aftermath of Hurricane Michael. So we evacuated, uh, I think, 33 patients to Gainesville, Florida. The Granger County crews taken these photos along the way, showing the destruction. Tree limbs in the road, buildings no longer standing. It looks like a bomb had went off. I went to Hurricane Katrina uh, when it come through. I've been through tornadoes, and this one reminded me a lot of Hurricane Katrina. But there's one photo Layman calls his favorite. He put it back up, and I said, that's going to be a good photo right there. I said, I've got to get a picture of that. Layman spotted the American flag in the debris, completely intact, proudly hanging it back up, but this time with a purpose. It's just showing that we're a team. It uh, don't matter what regions of the state we come from. We're the volunteers. We're coming down here, and we're going to be one big family. We're going to come help our brothers and sisters, like I said, wherever we're needed. Reporting in Knoxville, Madison Keevy, WATE 6 on your side.